Hi guys and girls, it's Daniel Walsh from Your Property Wealth and today I'm going to talk to you about the four things you need to be looking at when it comes to building a buy and hold property portfolio. So I call this the buy and hold quadrant. You need to be looking at this when it comes to building a portfolio. Number one, appreciation. So when you're buying a property, does it have the, the possibility for that property to go up in value? It needs to have appreciation. Now what appreciation means is wealth. So over the long period of time, you're building your wealth by building appreciation from each property that you purchase. Number two is cash flow. You need to be mindful of the cash flow when you're building your property portfolio because there's no point in having appreciation if you can't hold onto the property because the cash flow is poor. So you need to have cash flow. And when it comes to building a portfolio, there's some properties that will have more appreciation and there'll be some properties that will have more cash flow. You need to understand how that's going to fit into your overall strategy when it comes to building a property portfolio. Some properties that I have had have had more appreciation and others have had more cash flow. That means I have more wealth in some properties, but I have more lifestyle in the other. So when I come time to retire, I'm going to retire off the lifestyle, the cash flow, rather than the appreciation. But I need the appreciation to get to the cash flow, to get to more property in the future. Number three is buffer. Without the buffer, there's no possibility to be able to get number one and two. You need to be able to protect yourself. So if you can protect yourself by having a cash buffer, you can build a safe property portfolio. And number four is diversification. Making sure that you hit different growth cycles. So when I build a property portfolio, I'm looking at diversifying that portfolio. You don't wanna have everything in one state. You don't wanna have everything in one location because if that location doesn't perform, you're never gonna get the appreciation and you may never get the cash flow and then all of a sudden you're holding on, you're trying to get both of these but you're never getting there because you haven't diversified. Not all properties are going to go up by the same level. So it's important to diversify to be able to get different growth drivers so that at any one time, your portfolio should be growing by one or two properties at any one time. Let's say that you bought in three different states and one state does very well opposed to the other state. You want to be making sure that you're in both of those states or both of those locations to spread your risk, but also maximize the growth in your portfolio over the long term. This is what I call the buy and hold quadrant. You need to abide by those rules, all four of these to be able to build a successful buy and hold portfolio. If you like my videos, please like, share and comment. Till next time guys, have a great day.